Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're checking back in with another exciting updates video. Let's just dive in right into it. First up, we've got the legendary Mr. Olympia himself, Hadi Chupan. Just 8 weeks out from the big show. The last time we checked in on Hadi, it wasn't the most recent update, but this one is mind blowing. The conditioning and density are on point, and his legs are looking thicker from behind. I've been saying it all year, and I'll say it again. I believe Hadi Chupin is destined for another Olympia title. Now, my main critics here is that Hadi's midsection seemed slightly protruded in parts of this video, but it's still 8 weeks out, so there is room for improvement. Hadi is known for having one of the most shredded midsection in the sport of bodybuilding. Some people on social media have been buzzing about Hadi's shoulders and his right leg. Nobody is crying since all this time. But some are suggesting Hadi should rotate his injection sites. Personally, I was so blown away by this update that I didn't notice those details until they were pointed out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to another Mr. Olympia champion, Chris Bumstead. We've got a recent update from the Rhino champ. Chris is a true legend in this sport, and I believe he's on track to secure another Olympia title. However, Chris recently posted a cryptic message on Instagram hinting at the possibility of retirement. Classic physique wouldn't be the same without him. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Next up, We've got the 15th Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry. This update is from last year's Olympia prep and I've got to say my initial thoughts was that Brandon could possibly win the show or at least take second place. But looking at this update, it doesn't give me that feeling. Brandon's upper body can definitely hang with the top contenders but he's lacking in the leg department and conditioning. Last year, Dirk and Nick Walker didn't have the biggest legs, but they brought insane conditioning, which put them in the contention. Brandon's need to find that balance between size and conditioning. Do you think Brandon's shape will be enough to carry him over Hadi, Dirk and Nick? No, let's talk about Nick Walker. That's one thing you'll learn when you film me. Fuck filters. As a competitor, I'm no fucking YouTuber. I'm not an IG influencer. Not now anyway, I'm a competitor. So when a competitor uh, edits their shit, that's gonna translate on stage. Uh-huh. Keep that shit in mind. Uh-huh. Happened a lot recently. Oh, uh, ooh. Nick Walker, he's been a bit quiet on the updates on this prep. But don't worry. Nick's plan is to come in full blown for this year's Olympia. He might be 10 to 15 pounds heavier than last year. And we know he doesn't miss when it comes to conditioning. I've still got Nick Walker in my top 4, but I'm yet to finalize my pick. Who do you think will take the crown this year? Alright guys, that's a wrap for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to stay tuned with all the things in bodybuilding. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.